Hi, C. Bavoda here, um, and I'm just putting the finishing touches on Gridiculous Pro, so I wanted to give you a quick little tour. Uh, from the front, things look very similar to Gridiculous, but all the power is going to be in the new theme options. So let's go into the back end, log in, and if we refresh the home page, you'll see now um, some new instruction boxes tell you how to use some of the areas. So these are the um, three text widgets that I've included by default on, in the home page top area. You could add your own or totally remove this area. It's up to you. Um, but you will only see this instruction box if you are in mid and you are, and you are logged in. Once you add your own widgets, uh, that will disappear. Same goes for the sidebar. So if we go into the admin, let's check out some of the new theme options. Uh, you have the ability to add a site logo now. So let me just drag one in here. Oops, let me just open this and drag it in so you can take a look. It's just added right there. And you can just remove that. And let's take a look at the layout. And here is where there are a lot more options. We have the ability to add another sidebar. So let's just change this to six and check out the options for the sidebars. So let's save that. Actually, let's just make the site a bit wider. So when we go to the front, refresh, you can see how wide it goes. And in the footer, I have now added the ability to um, add widgets down here and turn it into an extended footer. If no widgets are added, it just looks like normal. But if we go here and close this and go to our widgets page, we can just drag some in here. So let's drag in the Tag Cloud, uh, Archives, and um, maybe our links. Let's go back to the front page, refresh, and you now see they appear right there. If we go back into our theme options, we could actually control the number of columns that appear down there. So let's scroll down. So you can add a fourth widget, or even up to six, or as few as you like. You also have the ability in Ridiculous Pro to now turn off the homepage posts and sidebars. So you could just include the three uh, homepage uh, widgets that appear here. You could also read more text. Close this down. Let's go to take a look at the fonts. Now you can easily um, add some Google fonts to many different elements in Ridiculous Pro. All of the fonts with the asterisk next to the name uh, is a Google font. Uh, all the other ones are just website fonts that most people will have installed on their system. I've also included um, a font awesome icon set. If you turn that on, You'll see these little icons appear, and they appear there as well. This is actually a pretty awesome feature, and these font awesome icons are very easy to add to any element on your page. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly add it to a menu item. So here's our home page menu. If we open that up, we could just copy in the icon tag. If you go to the Font Awesome website, you'll see all of the different icons that are available. All you have to do is pretty much just change the um, class name and the different icons will come up. So if we go save, go back to our front page, refresh, and you can see the icon now appears there. Let's go back into our theme options. Um, so see some of the color options. I've also now added some color options for the font menu. So you could change all of this. And the custom CSS editor is now available in Ridiculous Pro. And this is where you could add all the custom CSS you want so you can really take the theme to the next level. And those are just some of the options that I've included in um, Ridiculous Pro, which should be available shortly.